WinTech 4.0 Civilian Overview. The Civilian Windows Team Awareness Kit, or WinTech Civ, is a government off-the-shelf software application for Windows devices. WinTech provides enhanced collaboration and situational awareness over a tactical, mesh, and secure network. The graphic user interface, or GUI, consists of the map interface, toolbar with multiple tabs at the top, and a notification panel that runs across the bottom of the GUI. On the bottom right of the map is the user location information box or ULI. This feature displays pertinent information about the self marker. The ULI box will be colored red when the WinTAC program starts unless an external GPS is equipped. To place the self marker on the map, simply left click on the ULI box, then left click on the user's current location on the map. The self marker will appear on the map illustrated by a chevron symbol. Call sign, location, elevation, and bearing will also be displayed. The call sign can be changed in setting. The map scale at the bottom left of the GUI adjusts with the map when zoomed in and around. The geographic coordinates of the user's cursor are displayed below the map scale. The coordinate system in use can be changed in setting. The plus and minus sliders allows the user to zoom in and out of the map. Select the plus or minus icons to zoom by step or use the slider for more precise adjustments. WinTAC features 3D viewing of terrain. To enable the 3D view, drag the tilt slider towards the tilt view icon. As the slider moves forward, the view angle changes as indicated by the tilt view icon. Users can pan the map by long pressing, swiping, and dragging the map. To rotate the map, right click and hold on the map and drag the map to the desired heading. To return the map to north up view, left click on the compass in the upper left hand corner of the map. If digital train elevation data is installed or DTEDS, elevation information will also be displayed. DTEDS does not take into consideration vegetation or man made objects. Notifications and alerts are indicated by the notification flag at the very top right of the screen. Select it to display all notifications in list form. Emergency notifications are displayed at the bottom of the GUI and can be selected to display in list form. The toolbar runs across the top of the display. To hide and reveal the toolbar, left click the arrow in the upper right hand corner. Additional Options menu. The Additional Options menu is located to the left of the Home tab. Left click on the drop arrow to open the menu. Support. Support provides system information and contains the WinTAC user manual. About. About depicts WinTAC version, software, and license. Import Manager Tool. The Import Manager Tool is used to bring support files into WinTAC. Cloud FTP Tool. The Cloud FTP or File Transport Protocol Tool allows users to upload, download files from external servers. Plugin Manager Tool. The Plugin Manager Tool gives the user the option to load or unload different types of supported plugins into WinTAC. Toolbar Manager. The Toolbar Manager is used to customize the toolbar based on user preference. Settings. Settings provide software configuration management by allowing the user to customize call sign, team information, tool preferences, and setup networks. Clear Content Tool. Clear Content Tool allows the users to remove all user added content from the Windows computer. This includes all data, maps, imagery, and WinTAC operating certificates. It is recommended that this tool is only used in an emergency. Quit. The quit tool allows the user to quit and log off of the WinTAC application. This is also a quick troubleshooting step if WinTAC is not functioning properly. Home tab. The home tab is the default setting which consists of the main WinTAC tools. 
Some features open a window that docks to the right side of the display. The user can undock a window by dragging the window or by selecting the down arrow. Redock the window by dragging it to the center right edge of the screen. Some drop down windows have a pin icon that can be selected to hide the display window. The X button can be selected to close a window. Informational text highlighted in green may appear across the top of the map interface. This text provides help based on the selected tool. Other times, instructions will be displayed below the toolbar. Lock view map tool. The lock view map tool allows the users to lock into the current position and centers the self marker on the GUI as the map pans. This feature is only available with GPS. If you need to find the self marker, left click on the ULI box. This will pan the map to your location. Overlay Manager Tool. The Overlay Manager sorts map objects, files, and overlays into categories and subcategories. This is where users can choose to view or hide icons on the map. This tool will allow users to delete icons that are no longer needed. Elevation Tool. The Elevation Tool consists of heat map, view shed, and contour lines. The heat map shows elevation data on a color scale. View shed allows the user to choose a position on the map and determine visibility from that location. The contour lines generate contour lines on the map. DTEDS is needed for this tool to work properly. The lasso tool. Lasso tool allows the user to select several map objects at the same time. Selected items can then be either exported or deleted. This is a great tool to use when building a data package. Maps and favorites. Here users can choose between online map sources or download maps when a network is not available. Users can also cut maps from online sources for future use. Emergency beacon. The emergency beacon broadcasts an alert across the network containing location and need for assistance. The emergency beacon can only be deactivated by the user who activated it. It is recommended for use only when there is a real emergency. Point dropper tool. The point dropper gives the user access to over 7,000 icons and graphics divided between several menus. Drawing tool. The drawing tool options are polyline, rectangle, circle, and telestrate. A geofence can be added to any shape with a closed polyline except telestrate. Route tool. The route tool designs routes while incorporating checkpoints, waypoints, verbal cues, and navigation. Go to tool. The go to tool will pan the map interface to the grid entered by the user. Kazavac tool. The Kazavac tool drops the Kazavac icon on a chosen location and brings up a script for the nine line medevac Z mist report and HLZ brief. Geofence tool. The geofence tool works in conjunction with the drawing tool to monitor icons entering and leaving a selected area. Contacts tool. Contacts tool is a built in chat function that allows messaging between TAC users. Video player tool. The video player tool brings in video feeds from external assets for viewing inside of the WinTAC program. Data package tool. The data package tool gives planners the capability to build complex plans, overlays, or data attachments and send them to TAC users in one bundle. Track history tool. Track history stores recent track history based on GPS so the user can access it at a later time. ATAC Manager, Radio Controls, TAC Chat, Data Sync, and Newsfeed will not be covered in this block of instruction. 
digital pointer tab. The digital pointer tool capability allows the user to utilize the mark tool, digital pointers, place reds, and local DP. This tool will broadcast to all users on the network. Plugins tab. The plugins tab is where any additional applications can be accessed that the user may have added to the WinTAC platform. Range and bearing tab. The range and bearing tab provides several measuring tools. These tools are Bloodhound, Dynamic Measure, Static Measure, Circle Tool, Bullseye, and Dead Reckoning. Range and bearing capabilities allow the user to measure, distance, navigate, and track objects. In summary, the WinTAC software greatly enhances the capability of TAC users across the area of operation by providing real-time situational awareness, enhanced planning capabilities, and cross-platform communication. For more instructional videos on TAC systems, or to download WinTAC 4.0 SIF, please log in to the Watchtower website.